I want the electric chair because I'm ready to leave on. I'm ready to move on. I ain't, that's it. I mean, it's over with. I love my family. I love my kids. I love my business. You know what I mean? Of course, my girlfriend, everything is gone. So the electric chair would be the best thing for me. You know what? At times, when I think about certain situations or I tune in to see something and I see or hear things out of a horror movie, so horrific. Uh, tragedies that happen, uh, lives that are taken, is oftentimes very depressing. But again, it makes you think and it helps others not ever do the same thing. Cole Beale is a cold-blooded murderer who makes excuses and justifies all his actions if you never heard the story before, like father, like son, there's a senior Cole Beal, if that's the correct way to pronounce it. <laughs> and this is a story that at times we all, if you're a parent, you think about, like, if you ever been through anything in life, it's like, I don't want my son to end up going through the things that I have. I want better for you. The cycle. A vicious cycle that needs to be broken. Would you like to apologize? Nah. Why? Because what's done is done. I ain't going to have no remorse. They ain't going to have no remorse. So, I mean, I'm going to keep it just like I, I, I sent it. I did everything individually. For a different oh, reason. Oh. Um, Holy snap, son. Do you have no remorse? No. But there you have it. Everybody wants a gangster. Keep it real. That's gangster, right? That's ga Oh, son, kill the gangster. You stupid, bro. <laughs> You're about to get fried, my dude. Wow. Well, I thought I thought I thought I shot my pops in the head. I thought I shot my stepdad in the head. You know what I mean? They was all scattered through the house. Twenty guns? Yeah, about twenty guns and about twenty thousand dollars. Wow, my dude. Thousand dollars all scattered throughout the house. I don't I don't I don't get it though, but he robbed he robbed somebody. Let's 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 we gotta we got somebody was getting robbed. No, he don't feel remorse. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to, you know what I mean? I, I'm not living no more. I'm just here. I'm just in jail right now. Had I just got into a shootout with the U.S. Marshals, I would have been dead or still on the run if they, if they ain't finished me. So I wouldn't even sit right here in front of you. I just sit right here in front of you because the house that was next to me in the Airbnb had two little boys in it and, and, and a family, and I knew they was in the house, so I knew if I came out shooting, it was a chance they could have got killed. I didn't want my kids to get killed. So I ain't, even, I ain't even come out shooting. I let the, I let, I let the shorty go, and I just walked out. I mean, I ain't even do it. I, I could have shot it out to the death, but it ain't matter. Wow. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I think he said he didn't want his kids to get killed. I didn't want my kids to get killed, or any, or, or he meant in general anybody's kids. That part, it, it didn't matter. Like it's always sad. Like you don't want nobody to get hit. That. Is innocent, but at this point, like he was just blank. He was shooting everything, and he was killing, killing innocent people. To me, he feels they did something to him. I, I still don't get the point. Like, why you killed your girl? Like that was the stupidest, lame excuse for snapping. But I don't know. Let me replay that little part right there. Had I just got into a shootout with the U.S. Marshals, I would have been dead or still on the run if they, if they ain't finished me. So I wouldn't even sit right here in front of you. I just sit right here in front of you because the house that was next to me in the Airbnb had two little boys in it and, and, and a family. And I knew they was in the house, so I knew if I came out shooting, it was a chance they could have got killed. I ain't want my kids to get killed. So I ain't even, I ain't even come out shooting. I let, the, I, let, I let the shorty go. Oh, he said my kids, but he said the house next to him had children in it or what have you but 
Whatever. Well, at least he got that code, and and he kept it real with the code of uh, the y- people young youngins are off limits. Older people are off limits. There's a part where he the lady goes, and he says that the mother don't go into the house. Now let's get to that because I saw that part. I keep it real, and, and that's what puzzles me. Would he have? You got to see the people that died in this story. It is crazy, bro. <laughs> When I go, and I just walked out. I mean, I ain't even do it. I, I could have shouted out to the duff, but it ain't matter. Because at the end of the day, this is my last time. This is our last time hearing my voice. After that, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's over with. You're done. It's over with facts. I'm going to keep it real to say to give him. Uh, why he said that he's waiting for his day is electric chair or whatever. That's an understatement. They, I, I, I honestly wish there's more that could be done to him. Facts. Leave in the comments if you feel the same way. I think he's a monster. It's an understatement to even call him a monster. That's being polite. Wow, my guy. I was asleep. I had just took a shower and I was asleep. I was playing some music. I, I, mean, I just lay down, went to sleep. And I heard this big truck come up. It was like an army truck come up. Every time I looked out the window, they kept saying left, right, left, right. I knew it was done. Your left, left, right, left. Your left, the right, right. Your left, let go, left. Mm, your left, the right. <laughs> left, left. Your left, your left. You was in high impact. You was in shock. Stop playing. Yo, listen. Uh... This is crazy, my dude. You went to sleep? He killed his girl, my dude. Like, the girl that you actually live with, like, that you wake up to, like, yo, what's up, babes? Or whatever, right? Some people don't say nothing. I wake up angry, like, like a pit bull. Until I get this, boop, then we can talk. Before this, I'll be on some finish him. Enemy over here. <laughs> hey, Paxum. So check this out. Right? Uh, this dude went to sleep and was listening to some music, my dude. Ask him what music he was listening to. Let me guess. You guys guess. Leave in the comments what he was listening to. He's a demon, baby. <laughs> you demon. Stop it. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. When you want to run up, that's the whole point. Not to get caught. I mean, keep doing as much damage as you can do and keep standing on the Did you want to get caught? Hell no! <laughs> My bad. My bad, guys. I can't. I can't. I know people died in this and this bad. Why are we laughing? It's always a sad thing. My dude. <laughs> Did you want to get caught? Hell nah. <laughs> oh, shit. You foul. I mean, who goes on the run and want to get caught? I mean, I had a few people in mind, but I mean, I can't I can't get to them now. You know what I'm saying? And it all was it was just people who did me wrong. People who did like 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 crazy shit like people. This is what gets to me. This is what I don't understand. You soft bimbos with guns that never had a blick in your life and now get one and want to blam everything around you and you kill the closest people to you. Don't kill no one, right? But dudes did you dirty. Probably smacked Thundercats out of you. Blah! When you was coming up. Walked by you a thousand times while you had the blicky, but you killed your girl? You're an idiot, and that dude's laughing at you. This is what happens. People are tough with their family, with the people that love you the most. Why are you acting tough with them? Why are you causing them harm and danger? We don't promote it for no one, right? But, oh, my God. Am I bugging, guys, or am I bugging? Who that deserve that shit?
You know what I mean? That, that ain't see it coming, but it's, I mean, too late to speak about that now. People that deserve it, that didn't see it coming. He became a gangster. These things happen. You can see the softest dude in the world on your block. And once he gets that blicky in his hand, you feel me? He becomes tough when he's holding, bro. This is a fact. Once he's holding, he's tough. Sad. Take that away from him. See if he's the same dude. Um, how did they wrong you? Well, I mean, I have my own reasons. No. Bro. Bro. Just snapped. <laughs> Snap. I yelled at my dog today. That snap. You did more than just snap, my dude. <laughs> you took human life, you moron. You're not too. I just snapped. Like, I, I just snapped. I just snapped. But understand when I say human life, we all done foul things and things that some of us could be put away for the rest of our lives, right? You know who you are. <laughs> but we didn't just snap, bro. We understood clearly. You know what? Shh. Yeah, Bob, back to you. So what made me snap was it was like I was to the point um, where I had so much of stuff was going on between me, probation, everything. Like the probation really made me snap because they reset my probation after two years and I ain't did shit wrong. And then they found out I wasn't even guilty of a sex charge that I was wearing for four years. And when they didn't want to fix it, they made me wear the shit, even after I took a polygraph. After I took the polygraph, they found out the, the, the sex charge was some bullshit. And they still said I had to go through the process of the sex offender program, the class. But they, they probation officers didn't do their job. So they reset my probation for a low when I won't really have to see my probation officer for like every three months to every day, two, two, day, uh, two uh, house visits to me showing up to the, to the office once a month. Like, I had to reset my whole life again. Like, I just came home, so I feel... Bro, once a month? It's a reset my... And you snapped? Because of once a month? Probation? Curfew, my dude. What you know about going every day? The parole officer breaking the rules beyond belief. Every day, you know what? You're gonna report to me every day, early in the morning before. I was going through that fax. You can ask anybody in my household, which is only <laughs> anyway. But you can ask anybody. I meant to say anybody in general. Facts, curfew, uh, uh, all types of shit going up. One of my parole officers even got arrested for having sexual intercourse with a. Underage individual facts. <gasps> Shout out to her. Hopefully, she's in jail if that's what happened, right? Because she said she didn't do it. So, but anyway, you snapped because of that. Now, nah, it's deeper than that. Let's get to let's tell us, tell us the real story now. Come on, come on, come on, guy. Come on, come on. Stop blaming it. Tell us what's up. Let's go. Hey, you know what I mean, if y'all can keep putting this pressure on me for some shit I ain't doing, I'm not. Oh, oh! I'll be doing some shit, and y'all can hear me. I might as well be doing some shit so y'all can hear me, and bro. They, they heard you. You about to hear it up? He made noise to get people's attention to make his problem worse. I, I don't get it. What did you resolve there? But let's see. So right. that was another reason. That was a whole other reason. I told you each person had a different reason why I did it. 
Yo, yo, so nonchalant. Each person had a different reason why I did it. Let's go. Break it down, Bobby. Why you do it? Why you do it? This is what I want to ask that moron from Philly. But again, the power of word. The power of word. He, the guy is out of this video. The guy from that 36th Street Sunset Park shooting, we come in for him. He had videos. He was trying to create content. He was trying to be a YouTuber. And in his videos, he mentioned a few YouTubers. I told you guys, people watch the power of word. What you say can make other people react. And I just said that in my other videos. And now I hear him mentioning other people. And why he was... Oh, my God. It won't just like I just woke up and said, I'm going to kill my girlfriend. I, it won't like that. You know what I mean? It was it was the outsiders. It was the it was it was it was her mom who was trying to like orchestrate her and then moving away from me when I had been there for her daughter the whole time. Why won't nobody around? I had been staying there at the house with her for almost two years. I ain't seen them but two times come to the house. So she didn't even want to start a new job. She asked me if she, if she if I was cool with her starting a new job. I was like, yeah, why not? I was about to start my business. But it comes to her mom, like she asked her just like this. She said, Well, what about him? He ain't working, but he he paying, he he providing for himself, but what what about him? What he gonna do? So it started messing with her, she started breaking down, crying, all that other stuff. And now I'm in there taking care of her because her mom called her crying about that. So Nah, 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 nah. All I gotta do is hear a few seconds. Use a bum. Use a bum, use a jealous motherfucker. He was jealous of his own girl, this dude, bro. Her moms loved her, looking out for her. Nobody came checking for him. He didn't have a job going on. I was about to start my business. Doing what? What you was doing? You wasn't even on. You was on your phone like the rest of these dudes, taking pictures like you look nice, right? And not looking at what they put at the palm of your hand as your dream job. You was about to start your own business. Where? 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 In the streets? Why you needed a thousand dollars for to re up? Cause if you really was looking for a job, the biggest opportunities in life, they put them right in the palm of your hands. These are facts. Whoever don't know that by now, something is mentally wrong with you. The dude that you was gonna go work for, right? That you was gonna be calling your boss, the boss guy. Guess where his business was at? You was going to be working for him. And this is where he advertises his business on. Online. They put it right in the palm of your hand. So let's stop making excuses on why you were. I think he was jealous. She had a career opportunity. She had a lot going for her at this time. Uh, her parents went her life and they just started asking her and questioning her. Like, are you just going to be with this loser for the rest of your life? Are you going to keep supporting him? He's smooching off of you. And parents and grandparents and regular people in life, that's what they do. They look at you like a street punk, a gang member, a demon, a hip hopper. He, he listens to that rap music. Just because they're black doesn't mean that they're evil and bad people, right? Because some people may look at them like, no, there is good people in everything, bro. And her family seems like they was one of the good ones that understood life and living life on life's terms. He wanted to live life, his life and her life on his terms. And in return, he took her life because he felt it belonged to him. Now, we're going to get to the point where how easy he took her life and traded one life for another. And it's going to tell you how good of a woman she was and how much of a piece of shit this guy Cole really is. So, and, and what really pissed me off was I had killed her on Tuesday when we got into it. So <clears throat> her mom pulled up to the house on Wednesday. I had her phone up texting her mom back and forth like I'm hurt. And she knew something was wrong. Anytime that you could text someone and pass off as someone else, you have mental issues. Excuse me, you that's watching. If you ever text somebody and you're playing off like you're somebody else and you go along with this for days and you feel like you're playing somebody, you have a mental issue that you could portray to be somebody else. But 
It's becoming the new norm. It happens here on these platforms every day. Look around you. These dudes are pretending to be who they not. Facts. But remember, I told you, I ain't seen her twice in, in the whole almost two years come to the house. So her mom drives to the house. I'm watching your camera pull up. You were you drove all the way about 30 minutes to the house from Suffolk to see if she was okay. You had a key to the house. You did not go in the house to see if she was okay. So that already told me you really didn't care, but you cared enough to say something to her about me to fuck up what we had going on. So now I was like, fuck it, that pissed me off even more. So I'm like, I'm gonna set that shit on fire. I don't even care. Wow, my dude, you a real waste of fucking life, bro. Facts. This dude already killed her, bro. Understand what's happening here. He already killed the poor girl. The mother pulls up because the mother didn't come in. Thank God she didn't go in. You would have killed her. You fucking idiot. Because you already had snapped. Right? That was just a snap. He already had killed the fucking daughter. The mother comes in. He's going to be like, you know what? You could go with her since you love her so much. Pop! He was a jealous motherfucker that the life that they had was the life he wanted. Nobody cared for him like they cared for that young lady. And the young lady was in love with him. But at the same time, are we really in love when that happens? Or are you in fear for your life and just don't realize it? Sometimes we stay with people as a woman, as a man. Abuse comes from more different people. Some women out there are tougher than these guys. Facts. And the individual be like, if I leave him, he's not going to let me rest in, you know, like, <laughs> well, literally, he let her rest in peace, right? He killed her. But what I mean is he's not going to let her be in peace with the other person. Or she might feel like he's going to kill me. Because she knew how dangerous he was. Our girl, our wife, our spouse knows how dangerous we can be. My girl will tell you stories, every girl I've been with, that you won't even believe. Like, what? Facts. And if all of them that are watching, or one million and certain of them, I'm <laughs> just kidding, I'm an ugly dude. <laughs> They're saying, yo, he ain't even lying. He was a little terror. And the ones that are with me are probably saying, my dude, he still is a terror. Y'all just don't know him. <laughs> right? But she knew him. She knew him well. And the mother knew him also. She knew him more. She was able to watch from the outside in. And she was trying to warn her, warn her daughter on what could happen. But it happened. Maybe the mother knew exactly what was going on in the house. Maybe she knew there was nothing she could have did already. Maybe she knew her daughter was probably dead. She was just hoping for the best. But already had expected the worst when she didn't hear from her. You know who's texting you. She knew after a while that wasn't her daughter. <clears throat> she felt it. She just didn't want to believe it. And now she's saying, I was right. My senses was right. It's a feeling you got. But thank God she didn't go in there. She would have been dead. I can almost assure you that. Jealousy and hate is a bad thing. Even on here, it's worse. Because you didn't even care to open up the door to see if she was all right. She been in there. So that that's when I went back and did that. Set that on fire, set the car on fire. Know what I mean, I even ran through the fire trying to get out. I almost got locked into the fire. You should have. It would have been awesome. You would have died a slow death. Now, this is the part where it gets good. Good, but bad good. The father, guess what? He was a murderer. He killed his wife. He killed his girlfriend. But the father killed someone who liked the son so much and wasn't even his mother. So the father got jealous and killed the mother, the, the stepmother. These are two jealous motherfuckers with jealous issues. You can't love nobody else more than what you love me because I'm going to blame you. <laughs> 